Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48 Swirl and I am none other than Deb Chanel, okay? We're going to get right on in it quick, fast, in a hurry because I've been taping all day. Yes, I'm still off on vacation and I have been doing my due diligence trying to tape so I don't have to tape every day this week. I'm making good time i'm doing time management over here so i'm trying to put a video out every day this week but i'm like pre-recording so that's how i'm trying to get it done hopefully y'all enjoyed most of my videos that i put out today which is december 30th okay got the reunion out the way for Meredith medicine hopefully you all are enjoying that one got uh real housewives of atlanta to air it this past uh sunday and I'm trying to put out some more videos of trending topics that are actually happening as we speak. So we got one that came across my desk from Celebrity Insiders and it was from Ricky Mathers or Mathers over there. She's the correspondent, journalist, article writer for that particular vlogging site. And she brought out as a headline on her article, Mark Daly allegedly never wanted to get married on paper, according to new reports. Okay, and I'm like, let's get on into these reports, seeing what's going on, because I've been saying it all along, and other people have been saying it right along with me that it was a fictitious type of marriage, and nobody to this point has ever found any documentations of her actually being married to Mr. Mark Daly. Okay, but we're just going to go on in it. And see what uh, Ricky Mathers is saying in her article about Mark Daly not wanting to have any marriage be put on paper. So is it really legal? So if you just went and got married over there and no papers were signed off by a minister, rabbi, pastor, or whatever. I guess that don't really make you married. It's just you all know you all together. But legally. Mm -mm. So where is Kenya going on, on with Mark didn't want a prenup. Hell, he didn't want to marry it. So, hmm. I think it's all in your, you all's head and hearts, but it's not on paper. Is that what you're trying to tell us, Mark, in a secretive way? Wink, wink. Go ahead, free yourself. No rest will follow. Mm -mm -mm. Be colorblind. And don't be so shallow. Mm. Free your mind. And the rest will follow. Get rid of Kenya and co-parent. All right. Okay. I'm just saying. But getting on into the article, it says, Mark Daly and Kenya Moore's marriage is crumbling before her eyes in the latest episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. Viewers are finding out what led to the two deciding to separate months ago from Mark's habit of paying more attention to his daughter than his wife to the couple leaving states away from each other it's clear that there's a multitude of problems that would tear any couple apart if they were a couple that's just my pun intended and not in this article okay one big issue was their different women one big issue was their differ uh, differing financial views on last week's episode mark revealed that kenya is spending or her king is spending habits were very different from his while the real housewives of atlanta personality personality likes to treat herself to the fancy things in life because she's a su uh, successful self-made woman mark doesn't think that she should be so flashy i'm like if you had an epiphany now mark it's not the time to speak about it. Just do your thing. Free your mind. Free yourself from King Yomor. Don't be colorblind. Just get on out of there. Okay? But anyway, that's my pun intended. Okay? I got to have a little fun with this situation because, you know, we all know they're not married. Or some of us know that while others are like, no, they're married. They're living a life. This is just a... Uh, plot or ploy or setting that they're putting in and they're living their life and they're just being you know this that and the third happy go lucky white pin picket fence uh living a bunch of people over there okay mm -hmm. all right going back to the article that was just my sidebar the restauranteur also made comments that alluded to him helping her out with her business dealings like can you more hair care I thought Kenya had her hair care to herself. I thought she was a businesswoman. I thought she was a corporation of uh, since she was 17. Why would she need Mark to help her out? I'm kind of 
confused because there are people out there that can help her, you know. Hmm. Not saying, not not adding up, King, and not adding up. But anyway, going back to the article, it says in a new report by Radar Online, the couple not having a prenup is making the split a lot messier. Well, you don't necessarily have to have a prenup when you don't have a marriage at hand. So I can see the two going hand in hand, and it's not messier. I mean, if Kenya didn't really really marry the man, and he didn't really marry her as the woman. There's nothing to divide up. You just have a baby that you have to co-parent with. I'm mm, just saying. Makes sense to me. Unless it's a story not being told that we need to know about Kenya. Is it? Is it Kenya? Is a girl? Okay. Anyway, leaving in that situation, going back to the article, it says, Mark told the whole truth. He was very involved in helping her straightening out her business. What, what, what was it? it? It was wrapped up? Was it discombobulated? What kind of... A chaotic situation that you have going over there on your business, can you? Tell me, girl, tell me. Tell me we want to know. Curiosity is biting us in the butt. We want to know, honey. We like cats over here. We got nine lives, and we want you to give us some edification on why did Mark have to come help you with your business? What was, um, why was it tangled and all bunched up that he had to sit, speak his mind and tell you to do this, that, and the third? But then you... Can't understand what he's talking about, about spending your money and saving it and all that kind of stuff. What's going on, girl? What's the true tea? We're here. We're here. We're ready to listen. Okay? But anyway, since you're not talking, you're a closed mouth. We're just going to have to go with what Mark's saying. Okay? But anyway, going back to this article, that was just my sidebar once again. Um, He didn't want to be tied to her okay let's read that again mark told the whole truth he was very involved in helping her straightening out her business he didn't want to be tied to her that's why he didn't want to get married on paper woohoo that's a strange statement and a powerful one that's why he didn't want to get married on paper did kenya more followers are you hearing what i am reading now of course we saw this legend. Now, but I don't think Celebrity Insider will put out something that they know litigation will be coming back knocking at their front door. Okay, let me read that again for a little bit more edification. He didn't, meaning Mark Daly, wanted to be tied down to her. That is why he didn't want to get married on paper. She wanted a prenup, and he did not, okay? Later, Kenya would get emotional about the physical distance between them in addition to their emotional distance. This was something that was non-negotiable for both Daly and Mark. Now, if it was non-negotiable, and y'all knew, I mean, Kenya, you knew he was going to be solely still in New York, why would you want to have a baby with this man? Why would you want to have a relationship with this man when you know you're going to be solely in Atlanta because you have to do a lot of promotional uh, marketing for Real Housewives of Atlanta. Y'all tape at least, what, four months or six months out the year for Real Housewives of Atlanta. When were you going to have a relationship with your so-called husband? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, moving back on to the article. That was just my sidebar once again. Uh, there was never an agreement for them to live together. What? How y'all going to be married? Unless it's one of those um, when you're trying to run from another country. You know how you get them green cards where you get married in name only, but it's not consummated. I mean, it, you don't have sex or anything. You just legally on paper but then it doesn't go too well with you all either because y'all don't have anything on paper from what mark is talking about he didn't want to have anything on paper he didn't want to have a marriage with you on paper um these are some questions kenya moore can only answer for us because mark is putting it out there and if he's not putting it out there he's not cocking his clocking his own tea he's having someone or someone is going out there telling the bloggers the big dogs, the paparazzi people here in Atlanta, as well as in L.A., that uh, mm, there is truly not a marriage license anywhere to be found. That's probably why we can't find any one. Or I've not been looking. Just the big bloggers. Okay. That's probably why. But moving on, it says... 
There was never an agreement for them to live together. It, he always stated he wanted to stay in New York and she wanted to stay in Atlanta for the show. To make things worse, when the two did get to see each other, Mark has not put an effort towards romancing his soon-to-be ex-wife. Did he ever romance her? Because, you know, the only thing we can claim to fame is that he was romantic when they got married and eloped. Other than that, technically, we haven't seen anything that we can say. It's been some loving times involved. Because even for people who say that they go out outside of the show and hang out, Candy even said herself, there was really no love there, you know? It was just like an arrangement. So Candy was dropping tea too. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But like I said, everything done in the dark will come to light. You can bet your booty on that one. But anyway, going back to the article, it says between, between letting her go on the anniversary trip alone. Well, she didn't go alone. She went with baby Brooklyn. But technically, if you wanted some romance and things going on, she did go alone. But anyway, she went on that trip alone and choosing to go out with Todd Tucker after their triple date. Yes, that's when Mark and Todd more than likely went to the strip club. Okay, they didn't say exactly where they went, but they said they went and hung out together. Meaning Kenya's husband, Mark, and Candace's husband, Todd, they went out in between... Kenya Moore and Candy Burrs. They was mad as hell. Because <laughs> the men left the women with the babies. Which that's what they wanted from the get go. And that's what they got. So they said we supplied the sperm. So we getting up out of here. We finna go have fun. We finna go look at naked women shake their booties all around the world. Okay. At the strip club. Hmm. Tells a lot about Candy. As well as Kenya's men. All right. But anyway, going back to the article, they went out on a date, him and Todd. They probably hooked up with Apollo and Peter Thomas. Okay. And I'm sure they had a wild time because Apollo's out of jail and Todd definitely been hitting him up and Apollo been hitting him up. And I got another article to put out where they're saying Peter and Apollo hooked up just recently so it's like the gang is all getting back together okay shoot they need to be sitting at bravo's door you know beating it up and see if they can get um them to listen to them having some type of man a uh, man of atlanta a uh, affluent man of atlanta making it happen some show like that or something like that to keep them busy because they would show everybody would tune in to that one i know i would be there honey if i had to leave real housewives of atlanta to go watch them okay i'm just saying good money good advertisement but towards the end it says mark seems to be completely checked out i know that's right honey he don't put his bags and the relationship up and he's waiting for his uber ride to take him back to new york Honey, how they say, too much, too little, too late to ever try again. Too much, too little, too late, said to something I don't know. Too much, too little, too late, we knew it had to end. And it's over, yes, it's over, yeah. Yes, honey, Ma said, it's over, girl. Stop trying me. Stop trying to beg me. I don't want you no more. I don't want you. I don't want you no more. Keep a walking. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. That's what he told. Can you keep a knocking, but you can't come in? Hey, keep a knocking, but you can't come in. That we told Kenya. Mm-hmm. Saddle up and ride on off from here. That's what he said, y'all. Can y'all to catch a clue? Just go on and stop this farce of a marriage. Go on and tell us. Get on with your life, co-parents. And just move on with another man, girl. Just move on. But anyway, that's all I have for this particular video. Hopefully, thumbs it up. Share my video and subscribe to my channel, okay? And I will see you next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>